Hello. Do you wish to relocate to Australia as a foreigner? There are so many benefits of immigrating to Australia regardless of your location around the world, as Australia is very welcoming. In today's video, we'll discuss the different ways you can immigrate to Australia as a foreigner, different visas available, the eligibility criteria for the visa, and some tips for navigating the application process will be provided towards the end of this video. So, endeavor to watch till the end. Let's get started. Australia is a multicultural nation, offering a welcoming and accepting environment for migrants. It is one of the most ethnically and culturally diverse countries in the world, and people from over 200 countries have made Australia their home. This diversity encourages the acceptance of different cultures, religions, and beliefs. Another benefit is the high-quality education. Australia has some of the world's best universities and its education system is highly rated. With world-class universities and colleges, a wide variety of courses and degrees, and a supportive learning environment, Australia provides high-quality education to both local and international students. Other benefits include High quality of life, consisting a strong economy, excellent infrastructure, and security. In addition, Australia has stunning natural beauty and a range of leisure and entertainment activities to enjoy. Australia has an abundance of job opportunities in various industries, especially in the mining and technology sectors. As Australia is renowned for its friendly and helpful people, migrants are welcomed into the community and are offered plenty of support to help them settle in and adjust to their new homes. With its cost of living lower than many other developed countries, migrants can enjoy a good quality of life without having to blow on their financial budget. Here are the eligibility requirements. You must meet the eligibility criteria set by the Australian government, which includes having a valid passport, meeting health and character requirements, plus having an occupation that is in demand in Australia. You must have enough money to support yourself and your family while you are in Australia. Be able to demonstrate that you have the necessary skills and qualifications to fill a job in Australia. Be willing to abide by the laws of Australia. You must obtain a valid visa, which is dependent on the type of immigration you are seeking. Have a good grasp of English language. Satisfy the requirements of the points-based system, which involves earning a certain number of points for factors such as age, education, and work experience. Now, to the business of the day. There are diverse ways to migrate to Australia, but, you will discover the best ways toward the end of this list. Number 1. Working Holiday Visas This visa is designed for individuals between the ages of 18 and 30 who wish to visit Australia for a holiday, but also undertake some paid work. Applicants must meet the eligibility criteria and provide evidence of sufficient funds. Next. Student Visas It is designed for individuals who wish to study in Australia. Applicants must meet the eligibility criteria and provide evidence of their enrollment in an approved course. Now, on to Family and Partner Visas. This visa is designed for individuals who are in a relationship with an Australian citizen or permanent resident. Applicants must meet the eligibility criteria, including providing evidence of the relationship. Business Visas is the next. This visa is designed for business owners, investors, and entrepreneurs who wish to invest in or set up a business in Australia. Applicants must have a successful business background and meet the criteria of the visa. Followed by employer-sponsored visa, which allows employers to sponsor individuals from overseas to fill permanent positions in their business. Applicants must meet the requirements of the specific visa, including having the necessary skills and qualifications for the job. Skilled Independent Visa is the next. This visa is designed for highly skilled individuals who wish to live and work in Australia permanently. Applicants must have a skill set that is in demand in Australia and pass a points-based assessment. Next is Skilled Nominated Visa. This visa is designed for highly skilled individuals who have been nominated by an Australian state or territory government. Applicants must have a skill set that is in demand in Australia and pass a points-based assessment. 
As mentioned earlier, the Skilled Migration Program is the top best way to immigrate to Australia. This program is designed to attract skilled workers with qualifications. For example, doctors, engineers, or IT professionals, who can contribute to the Australian economy. To be eligible, you must have a job offer from an Australian employer or a nomination from a state or territory government. You must also meet the points-based criteria which include age, English language proficiency, work experience, and qualifications. The second top way to immigrate to Australia is through the Family Migration Program. This program is for individuals who have family members in Australia who are willing to sponsor their application for permanent residency. To be eligible, you must have a sponsor who can provide an assurance of support, as well as meet other requirements such as character and health checks. The third way to immigrate to Australia is through the Business Migration Program. This program is designed to attract business owners who can invest in and manage a business in Australia. To be eligible, you must have a minimum of 1.5 million Australian dollars in business or personal assets and a minimum of 750,000 Australian dollars to invest in a new or existing business in Australia. You must also have a successful business background and pass a points-based assessment. Some tips for navigating the application process of migrating to Australia as a foreigner. 1. Before you begin your application process, it is important to choose the best out of the various visa types available and determine which one best suits your needs. This will ensure that you are applying for the correct visa and can save you time and money. Secondly, understand the costs, this includes application fees, processing fees, and other costs associated with the process. Third, gather the required documents, this includes your passport, evidence of funds, health insurance, and any other documents required for the visa type. Next, prepare for interviews, make sure you are prepared for this and understand the types of questions you may be asked. Lastly, if you are unsure of any part of the application process, it is best to seek professional advice. This can help ensure that your application is completed correctly and increase your chances of a successful outcome. Wish you a successful application. If this video is of great value to you, kindly share it with your friends and loved ones. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't, and hit the notification bell to be informed of many more informative videos to come. I will drop the link to other job videos in the description of this channel, slide into it and watch. See you next time.